he's interrupting my videos. Warhead, get you some. Okay, and this is the final result of the spoiler. <clears throat> I went back through a few times, like peeled it up and redid it because it did not look right at first. So yeah, it looks so much better now. Went back through with heavier coats instead of the light coats I was trying to do at first and it came out pretty good. Okay, before we install the spoiler, I got to add the um, gasket stuff so it doesn't leak water. Well, I'm not really worried about it leak water, but I prefer to have that safety of not having to worry about it leak water. <clears throat> so the kit came with this gasket stuff right here, but I went to the store and bought some better one. I'm probably gonna use both of them. Just line, or depending on how, I don't, it's not even that much really, but I'm just gonna line as much as I can with this, with this one right here going all the way across and then just pick this one up and just go all the way around with it. So I'm gonna get that started real quick and then we're gonna install the spoiler onto the car. Okay, and this is the finished product right here. Now it's not perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just making sure it can resist as much water as possible. But I'm also gonna be putting a uh, silicone on the screws just in case. So yeah, I'm taking extra precautions, you know, to make sure no water leaks into the uh, trunk. I did this exact same thing with the Mustang and it worked out perfectly fine for the last four years. No issues with water being in the trunk at all. So yeah. I'm just gonna press all this down and then peel off the uh, the uh, weather stripping backing. finished product I'm about to go ahead and get it slapped on the Camaro got to get the tools all set and we're about to put it on the Camaro see how it looks we got the R6 right there I just wanted to point that out all right but now for the, uh, I had to take the strip that went across here and take it off I'm gonna take this off too I don't know why I put it there but I had to take that off because this part sits a lot um, higher than a or it sits, yeah, it sits a lot higher than the rest of this. So I had to just take that off because you can clearly see it through the uh, front side. So I'm gonna mock it up real quick, show you guys how it looks. Make it sure it's even. All right, boom. It's on there. It actually looks really good on camera. So yep, that's how it looks. See from the front, you can't really see it, but beforehand you could see the uh, this white strip. That's, what, that's the one I just took off. 
see how good it looks. Actually, it like it looks really good, surprisingly. And this is not even the final product. Like I'm still gonna put the worker build on on it, and it's gonna make it look even better. He's interrupting my videos. Warhead, get your sound. Look how good that looked though. Are you my truck? Yeah. I don't need graze it. The Camaro already comes with the pre uh, pre drilled holes right here. I'm not sure if there's some under here. Not too sure. I'm gonna take that off and see. And then these right here. So he's got to pull those off, line them up on the top, and make sure they're even across. Hopefully they're gonna be even across. So yeah, let's get into it. We got the bolt holes lined up perfectly with the inside center caps. Inside center caps. We what is he doing? You can't you can only see the belly. Okay, okay. Interesting. But we got the holes lined up perfectly. They're um, I wouldn't say they're perfectly in the center, but they're inside of the holes right here. I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up. Ooh, no, the camera's not picking it up. But they're inside of the holes right here, so that's all that really matters. Alright, and the rest of them are lined up as well. I'm just trying to use this one as a test trial before I zip all those suckers in. Alright, let's... Let's get this going. Alright.
not 30 minutes. That was not 30 minutes. I'd be damned. I'd, I'd be damned to believe that was 30 minutes. This is the scariest part of drilling into your car. Like, this scares me. Like, it really does. Drill bit. Yeah, I, I had to walk it up. I thought I could just literally just put, um, just put the five sixteenths in there. Nope, hole was too small. So the camera died over there. So um, just tightened up everything on there nice and sturdy. Doesn't even wobble or anything. It's one with the car. Sounds good. Looks good. So I did plastic dip it, but I'm probably going to have to re-plastic dip it because these little, um, I guess these little notches are like peeled up paint from when we we're trying to like maneuver it on there. But See, it's even on this side, even on that side. Let me show you one more time, even. All right. But yeah, it looks so good. Lines up with the middle of the car as well. So yeah, it turned out pretty good. So I'm gonna outro this video, but when I get my camera charged again, so it's gonna probably be a different day. But yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. This is a little back shot of how it looks with the spoiler now. I'm gonna do a wicker bill. Uh, I'm going to do the uh, zero 01 add-on worker bill for the stealth look. Uh, I think those look awesome. I wanted to do the X-Wing, but I couldn't find that spoiler. So um, I, just had, I just got stuck with this one. So something simple. I'm not sure when I'm going to do the, uh, the stealth wing or the stealth spoiler, uh, zero 01 add-on spoiler. So, or worker bill. I keep saying, Z I'm not sure when I'm going to do the stealth zero 01 add-on worker bill. So this is just going to be like this for a little bit until um i get that going i'm kind of like on a kind of discouraged from ordering things because i ordered my coder intake and it still hasn't shipped yet at all and i still i've been waiting for it for over a month now it still hasn't shipped so i'm gonna be a patient i'm gonna wait until like mid-august and if it doesn't ship by mid-august i'm just gonna cancel the order and order from somewhere else so yeah all right what is going on guys we are back and as you've seen or previously we installed the spoiler on the camaro now, may I add, that may have been the easiest spoiler install I have ever done. That literally took maybe 20, 30 minutes total. Then that was cleaning the car, or back in the car in the garage, cleaning it, lining the holes up, and um, 
drilling it and screwing it in, adding the uh, weather stripping and everything like that. So that it ha it went by really fast compared to the Mustang. The Mustang right there. Let me see if it pulls up. The Mustang's GT500 spoiler took forever to put on, and I'm not sure why. But that happened. We put that on like three or four years ago. It's on there strong. It ain't never giving me no issues. Never wobbled in the wind. Never made any weird noise. Uh, never had any issues of it. Like look like it's about to fly off or anything like that. But it took so long to put on. Compared to. Compared to the Camaro. Where it literally took like. Ten minutes total. To screw it. Or drill the hole. Screw it in and everything like that. Which is kind of funny. It's kind of funny. I'm going to show you guys what it looked like. I'm also going to pop the trunk as well. So you guys can see like the uh, bolt holes at the bottom too. Now the spoiler, I admit it could have gone on a little bit more closer to the trunk, uh, to the trunk or the deck lid. It could have went on a little bit closer to the deck lid, but I, I wouldn't say I wasn't paying attention, but it was hard to line it up because the, uh, I forgot. It's like the, the guide tools they give you makes it to where you can't feel the, the curvatures of the car. So it's kind of, I wouldn't say it's like a guessing game, but it's like get it as close as you can as possible without knowing where the trunk ends and so i was like i'd rather it be a little bit too far out than on top of the goddamn trunk where it looks weird like the back of the back of the spoilers on top of the trunk so yeah i had to preference that i mean you really can't you really don't even notice it unless i like i tell you it's it's something you can't see because like you have to actually look under the uh the car to see it or under the uh, trunk to see it i'm also going to be adding the uh z01 add-on stealth worker bill I don't know when I'm going to do that because I know a lot of places are on back order for a coronavirus and I'm tired of ordering stuff and it doesn't get shipped to me in the time I want it to because I'm I'm still waiting on a part from a company. Okay, so this is a spoiler from this angle. You can see the um, weather stripping in the valley right there. I had weather stripping going across the entire front, but you can literally see the whole damn thing. So I moved it to the back or I moved it out. And I just added some weather stripping, uh, extra weather stripping around the bolts just to make sure water hasn't come, come in the car. Uh, I'm going to test test it out if it worked or not in like the next few days because it's going to be raining like crazy. But yeah, if you like actually look at the car, you can't tell that it's not completely forward on there. But if you look at the bottom, if I can get it camera showing properly, you can see through there. And I wish I could redo it, but the bolt holes are already there i mean i'm pretty sure i could move it forward but it'll be risking it making the bolt holes too big for the uh screws to go through and it'll just probably easily just go straight through the uh metal and i don't want to risk that risk that i'd rather just have it the way it is as good enough and not worry about it but can't take it out i need a flathead to take it out but since the camaro came with these like pre-drilled holes already and the uh i forgot what these are even called but since the Camaro came with these already, it made it so much easier to install the um, install the spoiler on the car. Let me close that up. Give you a side profile. Another. Give it a little quick walk around. Yeah. Also, um, the plastic dip isn't holding up. I may just ended up getting getting it powder coated or plastic or not plastic dip or just regular painted uh, black because I like the black look. I like the black look. That's all I was going for. I wasn't going to keep the plastic dip on there. I just wanted to see how it looked compared to the white paint. If just in case I wanted to turn it white and then have like other black accents and just leave the spoiler white. Um, you may be asking yourself why did I go with such a tiny spoiler? Well, main reason, the only reason why I wanted a spoiler on this car is for a worker bill. That's the only reason why. Other than that, if I didn't want to work a bill, I would probably just left no spoiler on this car. Like, literally no spoiler on this car, because to me, it really doesn't matter. I just want the wicker bill look, because I have I have goals for the exterior, too. Just like the performance. Nah, I was fine. But it, it's just the look that I'm going for in this car, because I literally, I'm not even going to lie, I kind of made a Camaro in the Need for Speed, made it exactly as I wanted to spec everything. <laughs> And it looked really good, so I was like, shoot, I really want to do that on my real Camaro. And that was like before I got 
this car and I said shoot well since I got the Camaro let's base this off the need for speed build I've made and I don't know if I want to show you guys that because then I'll kind of give away like the end goal but we'll see maybe down the line I'll probably give you like a quick glimpse if I change something on a car that I, that's not completely with the need for speed um need for speed rendering I did then I'll probably show you guys exactly what it looked like if you guys enjoyed don't forget to like favorite subscribe worker bill will be coming soon as well and yeah peace out